Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to my YouTube channel and video of Robot Todd page 15. And there's my desk. And this is the thumbnail for the page. I usually just do this in my sketchbook. I have all the pages ruled out. And here you can see that I'm using the template that I made to rule out uh, the page. And I was looking at some books there, Cannabis Works. And I actually touched up page 14. There was a, a couple of spots, actually page 13. There was a couple of spots on there that I wanted to fix up and I was putting it off and I just decided to do that. And there you can see the first round of pencils. They're pretty rough, but um, not as rough as, as some pages that I've done before, but um, there's the first two panels and the second two panels. And I kind of like the gesture of the fox there that I did. Um, this right here is uh, for a Kickstarter for Red Planet Blues and Al Gofa is doing. I think it might be the last couple days for the Kickstarter. Uh, so if you want to uh, check out the description, I'll have like a link to the Kickstarter in the description if you want to. It's like a uh, like a animal talking animal sci fi noir book uh, that he's trying to publish and he asked me to do a poster for it so if you do like the $20 tier you can get my poster and there's the uh, the hand hand done version and then some Photoshop and then this is uh, the final Photoshop version here and um, yeah and so then back to the page 15 of Robot Todd this is the next round of pencils and I was just kind of working on the getting the fox right here. Um, I spent a little bit of time looking, finding a reference photo for this fox. And uh, I had a couple of fox books, but I think I found the right one that I wanted in off the internet, off Google image search, and had it on the computer by my desk. And drew and redrew it uh, until I got the drawing that some somewhat happy with. It looked like it was moving in real space and I actually liked the the gesture drawing I did initially better just as a as a quick drawing but um it, I wanted it to look consistent with the previous pages that I've done and um I'm fairly happy with the way it came out and yeah so here you can see I'm penciling the city in the background in the second panel um and that that went pretty quick I just you know uh, didn't require any reference for that at all. And um, doing more penciling. This is maybe like the third third session of, of, the, uh, of drawing this page. Uh, so here in this part of the story, we have Robot Todd coming up through the water that he was swimming through on page 14. And then he sees the little fox standing on the shore. And there's a question mark that comes out of his head, like, hey, how did this guy get there and then he decides to follow him to this sort of sci-fi city in the background and here you can see i'm inking it the inking went pretty fast again like i'm just inking the main characters and leaving the background unfinished or just pencils so that i can watercolor on top of them and that way the characters will pop a little more oh yeah this is uh i'm doing some coaster art for the nucleus gallery in portland it's a local gallery and they're having a show of coaster art and um, I'm I'm on the fourth one. I just finished the fourth one today and this is the first one and it was the only one that I filmed. So uh, I, I thought like thematically, since I'm having to draw a fox so much for this comic that I uh, should do these coasters with the same character, the same fox character. So it takes place in the same world and um, there's going to be six of them, but I only included one in this video and that was it. That was the one right there. So yeah, back to this page 15 here. I decided to go in and start coloring Robot Todd first because that would seem like the easiest, funnest part of it. And then the fox too, which I had reference for, I was looking at. So I, I thought I should do the main characters first before I laid down all these big swaths of color in the background because I figured that would take me the longest and I was right it ha has taken me the longest I've done like a few sessions where I'm just working on the background but that was just one session that I did all the
main characters in and you can see the first two panels there and then there's the bottom two panels and I was pretty happy with the way the fox came out but I'm still I still have to touch them up a little bit because I think it's just like a standalone image that's okay but having putting the background in and stuff I want to make it look like they're actually in the this cave space so I want to kind of darken it up a little bit but here I'm just uh I looked at a, a photograph of the inside of a, a cave with like reflections on the water and um this was probably even more challenging than the last page I did just because uh, I'm not uh it's just sort of tricky like I'm still not finished with this page as of this video this that part that I'm working on right right here I I I got to this point and then I kind of left it alone and I finished the rest of the page nearly finished the rest of the page but that that part um it just I don't know why it just seems kind of hard and I uh I'm just saving it for last but I did maybe like three or four layers of blue mixed with uh India ink uh, the doc doc martens ph martens uh black star ink and i uh and i wouldn't necessarily advise using that technique like uh it's probably better to use just black watercolor and mix it with blue or just use blue or whatever color you want uh, but i just sometimes i it's just easier for me to do that i don't uh yeah, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but <laughs> just like the weird method that I have. So that, yeah, that first panel seemed like it took me the 20 minutes that I, I'm, I'm trying to do like 20 minutes a day on this page. And I probably spent a little longer on it than that. But uh, I felt like most of the session, that session was just devoted to that first panel. And then here you can see that I'm, I, I did another layer over it and I got it to the point like dark enough to where I was happy with it. Uh, just because this is taking place inside of a cave. And yeah, and here you can see I'm flipping the page upside down to kind of get the, the water and ink dripping down uh, rather, and let, kind of letting it dry in that way rather than, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It was just uh, kind of easier for me to not put my hand in the wet area. So um, I don't normally flip flip the page around like that I usually if you've seen any of these other videos you can see I normally just have it still but um so there there's the next session and I didn't use any masking fluid or anything I just sort of left like a a vague shape of the in the second panel of like the reflection of robot Todd coming walking out of the water and uh here I'm laying in a few layers of this city in the background and I, I kind of kept it loose. I just sort of made up a sort of like a generic sci-fi, like uh, kind of like apocalyptic looking city. Like, the idea is that it's going to be this like abandoned space that he walks through and he's, you know, going to be like attacked by some mutants and stuff like that. But um, I, I wanted to feel kind of atmospheric and dark. And uh, I think it looks OK like this sort of light, but I'm... Uh, I'm going to, I'm, I, I, I worked on it a little more and I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to do like one or two more sessions of it, but there, this is the second to the last session I did. And I think this is the last one that I just did today. And I just went through and sort of refined the, the, the stalactites that are hanging and some of, and, and def, define some of the city, the buildings and the little structures in the background and um, yeah, that's, I think, pretty much the end of this video. So thanks for watching. And uh, I have a Patreon too, if you want to subscribe to that. It's just $2 a month to support this comic being made. And uh, yeah, check out this stuff on Instagram too. Next week, I'll have the rest of the coasters. And uh, there'll be a show coming up at Nucleus in Portland if you're in the neighborhood. Uh, check that out. All right. See you next time. Bye.